check it out. A new event. I, w- I hope there's a nighttime mode. Please give us nighttime horizon. Not everyone makes it 12 rounds. You miss, there's no second shot. My accuracy is getting better every day. What a lame skin for that. This off, Scaplander! Watch out! You're a comb, brother! Oh, damn! This will be fun. Ready and excited. Looks like a care package is coming in. Big James in that. Wow. A dead man overthinks. A ready man survives. to do that shit because i always kept saying like if they're they need to fucking do like a thing where everybody could fight you know fist fight and they they did it they did it to a spot it'd be a lot cooler if the whole lobby was like that but make it to where that storm is gonna close in faster as usual that's freaking cool lifeline looking pretty cute though with that new outfit just coming in okay so the airdrop care packages replaced the clusters of Increasingly rare loot and fully kitted weapons. Huh. Oh, is it like the old mode we had back then? Where there was a bunch of dropships everywhere? Big James in that. A dead man overthinks. Eh, huh? that's a good A ready man survives. Look at Lifeline. Woo, Lifeline looking cute. I don't like Bangalore's hair. But I am digging that gold plated stud shit on the side. I don't know what that is, but. Bloodhound looks cool. I don't like the color, but I like the mask, though. As for Revenant, eh, looks like an Assassin's Creed. Not the same. I don't like. We made you for a quiet purpose. Ow! Can anyone summon the mind to face this contender? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Better every day. Scavlander. Watch out! You're up. Okay. One thing I gotta say about this heirloom, I'm disappointed in it. Now, I'm not saying it's ugly or it's stupid. No, it looks cool. It's just I'm disappointed that his heirloom. We already have an axe, uh, Bloodhounds. I mean, I don't know if you want to. This, this is clearly an axe. But he already has that heirloom in his banner. You know, the, the, uh, I mean, I don't want to offend anybody, but obviously he's from the islands, you know, you know, like a Samoan island or Hawaiian islands, you know, around there. And have you noticed that his weapon, it's like a club, you know, it's one of the clubs that you see that were made on the islands, you know, a rock or maybe some stingray, uh, you know, nails through it or sharpened rocks. I mean, no no lie, this looks like a sharpened rock with some metal in it, but, you know, I'm disappointed that they didn't even bring it. Because he was the only one in Apex that had a heirloom, or not a heirloom, but he had an item with him in his banner. I don't remember Wraith ever having one. Wraith was, what, the first one to get an heirloom? And it was her little her ninja, I forgot what they're called. 
I want to call him Kawaii, but that's cute. Uh, yeah, they. they so I'm kind of disappointed that they gave us this when he ha already has one. Even when he executes you, the default execution, he hits you with it. So kind of disappointing. Come, brother. This will be fun. Now, I hope there's a game mode where the specters are running around. I mean, if I, I don't know, because I feel like there, there should be some more hazards. In, I don't know what it is about with Battle Royales, but I like hazardous things in the game. Where it'll mess you up or mess up your, uh, you know, your, your, say you're reconning the whole game. Most people don't like to recon. And most people don't like people that do recon because we're just campers and we're ambushing people. It's called strategy. But I, I would like the idea of, let's say I'm reconning with Marn and, and Dex. Then these specters know we're in the area and they start firing at us and shooting us. And that gives out our position. Kind of like how stupid Fortnite had a bunch of, uh, they had zombies running around. I, I liked that. But I was the only one. Who did it, or who did like it? Everybody else hated it. I was like, yeah, the reason why you guys hate it is because you're just a bunch of little bitches. So I mean, I know they won't do it because they're gonna say oh, it'll throw off the balance of the game, but I don't think so. I mean, I think the specters would be a great thing to have in the game because you know they could have a weapon you want, take them out and get it. Who knows? Maybe they'll have a full kitted weapon. Yeah, why not that? Why not have a specter running around? Who has full gold, gold kitted items? You know, like a, maybe a body shield. Give a couple of them out there with red body shields or purple body shields. But I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't put it like early game. I would kind of like uh, if, if it was up to me, I would turn it around. Like okay, the first ring, these motherfuckers got white shields, blue shields. But late game, like the round three, purple and red with stronger. Uh, Stronger guns, you know. And that's what I would put in this game. Just to give it more of an interesting, like, oh, shit. Okay. I see where they put it in the map. But I'm a little confused. Is the spaceship still there? I love that spaceship. The fact that they put the option to jump into the ring without your weapons and fight, I like that. I'm down for that. My thoughts on this uh, new uh, thing. I like it. As the usual, some of the skins suck. Like they were. I get it, they gave us this little L.A. Nor vibe. But Pathfinder is the only one that actually has that old school vibe. And also we have to take into consideration that it's the future. I don't know why Watson looks like she's in the Green Berets, you know. I would have Why did they make Watson look like a cop or something, you know. Something old fashioned around that area. And yeah, like you know that that uh, that skin for the Sentinel was weak. I don't know who they got designing shit over there, but come on, man, I could come up with something better. You you know what, respawn? If you if you want to make some serious money, give us a freaking creation kit where we could design and upload our own stuff to the guns we want. Now you may think, oh, no, that's stupid. We'll just lose money because nobody will buy cosmetics. True. But nobody said you can't release certain items. So let's say I have a wingman, right? Let's say I have a wingman and I want it pink. But I also want some little, like, horns or a bow on it or something like that, right? You know, they can have a little release where you pay, like, two bucks for a trinket or something. Five bucks for, like, a very epic thing. Like, what if I want my Sentinel to have a bunch of Christmas ornaments on it? In fact, what if I want to upload my own picture onto the gun? Like, you know, like a bra or something, or boobs. Well, I'm obviously they're not going to do that. Actually, no, they have a girl on the gun. I'm just saying. That's my thing. Uh, back to what I was saying. Yeah, I'm digging it. I like it. Uh, I'm definitely going to jump into that boxing ring. Because nobody has guns. Nobody can be a little bitch about it, so ha! What do you guys think about this thing? I, I think it's a cool idea. Okay, I was just uh I was just editing the video as you can see in the background. There's the editing. I just forgot we could go to the website and learn more about this shit. So season blah 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 news, latest news. Let's see. 
Maybe it's in here. Oh, here we go. Get ready for the fight, man. Okay, happy new legends, blah, 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 blah. A temporary new game type, the airdrop escalation takeover. Pretty much from what I remember, it was in the old, you know, it was like season two, I think, or season one. Yeah, season two. It, no, season one. Pathfinder Town Takeover, the Fight Night Collection event that it's associated with reward track collectible cosmetics and new Gibraltar heirloom, blah, blah, blah. New, newly generous loot grunting Marvins. Now... Am I right? What I just said earlier? That what I said earlier? But that, I said specters. Never mind. I think Marvins. I could be right though. A whole oh, wait and a whole host of balance changes and bug fixes. Blah blah blah. All right. The airdrop with this update, we're testing a new approach to limit limited time modes. Instead of launching its own playlist, the airdrop escalation will be a takeover of the normal play Apex game mode. It's a classic battle royale, but way, way more supply drops immediately after leaving the jump ship. Dude, they did this already. Come on, they did this already. I'm pretty sure there's the there's a couple live streams where I did that. Like, yeah, they already did this. Not that I don't hate it or anything. It's just they already did it and act like it's new. Each supply drop contains a fully kitted weapon, which they did. They even had a they had a bunch of cravers and shit all over the place. I remember it one time. Level two kitted weapons, while round four drops include red armor and crate weapons. Hey, didn't we just say that? But about the specters? Huh, didn't I say that? Let's see. And of course regular weapons and weapons will still appear as ground loot. Alright. We are curious to see what y'all think about the why the hell do they say y'all? I hate people. Take over approach with limited time modes. Why don't you bring back solo? Pathfinder Town. Take over, drop your weapons, and get ready to brawl. So let's see. Entering the ring will prevent any player from using their weapons and any of their abilities. Oh, good. No little bitches. The only way to beat someone is via bit fisto cups. Oh, and don't worry about the outside ring interference. No outside projectiles, grenades, or abilities can penetrate the ring's force field. That's right. No little bitches out here who can't freaking fight without their friends. That's awesome. Punch out loot. The loot balls contained within the ring scoop up some rare loot. Just remember, you can't use it until you leave. Oh, cool. Oh, you can see right there. Oh, I zoom in on that. I can't. It won't let me. Bastards. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Look, there's a little, uh, there's a stupid ball there. Whatever that crap is called. Fight Night Collection event brings you, okay, people, we get it. Loba and Re Revenant are haters. You can stop putting them together now. I doubt she posed for this picture to be next to this bitch. The Fight Night Collection brings a set of 24 themed limited time skins. Yeah, they're not that great. Event time. Oh, this is just telling you what you're going to get. Or the rarity or whatever crap. Gibraltar's heirloom. Looking like something straight out of... Whoa, look at that. That's cool. Something straight out of a freaking Final Fantasy game. Uh, here is a better detail of the skins. Hey, yeah, Watson's kind of cute. Bangalore, I don't like that hair. Assassin's Creed there. Nah. We're only getting those views of it. We're not getting... Well, yeah, because Caustics wasn't that special. You know what? She looked like Cammy right there. Can I pause this? No, I can't. Yeah, Watson looked like Cammy right there for a second there. Ooh, look at that alternator. Ugh, get out of here. Damn, that's a nice alternator. It's got a heart. Oh, an RE45, man, eh, they could have did better with it. But oh, I like that alternator. That's beautiful. Sucks to know about that. Loot Marvins, here we go. After having previously decommissioned, Marvins are now programmed to reward legends in the area, only appearing in Olympus. These friendly guys will give you loot after interacting with them. They will pr produce tier looted equal to what is shown on their screens. Oh, cool. 
white and sad face common level one neutral blue level two please purple level three very happy yellow face legendary four huh pick your loot or pick your loot and thank your friendly marvin or it's feeling or, or if you're feeling toxic shoot them when you do you they may drop their arm for you to arm for you to store in your inventory taking this to another marvin with the missing piece may get you a reward high five. Oh, that's cool huh yeah they're making you work for it that's good instead of just running around find them meta updates there's nothing too meta shaking this time around we're giving season seven some extra time to shake out horizon released strong but not overpowered bullshit bullshit she's another wraith she just flies this time uh, the below buffs are aimed at small power increases. Rampart still needs overpower, overall power, and caustic buff is an extra bit compensation for the loss of vision and blur from the gas season seven. Note: Looking at on the data, season seven changes was solid buff for caustic, but he's not quite where we want him to be. Motherfucker's too strong. Get rid of two more canisters. He can only carry four. Amp cover, oh look, uh, amp covered wall decrease cooldown from 30 seconds to 20 seconds. Oh, that's cool. Nox gas decrease cooldown from 25 to 20. Really? Fucking, what is with these people favoring caustic? They took five seconds off the 20 second cooldown? Oh my gosh. Bastard. Ooh, they decreasing the hamlock now. Damage 22 to 20. That's still 60 damage if you land all those bullets. Mastiff. Spread out the third, fourth pellet to decrease max range of four pellets hit. What? Wait, wait, wait. Spread out third. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't use that gun anyways. What do I care? Prowler. Reserve bullets increased from 175 to 210. Eh, that's not bad. Ultimate accelerants can now be used without opening your inventory. If your ultimate is not currently available, just press the button or buttons or on your controller to activate. And it will pull any stored accelerants in your inventory and use it automatically. Okay, cool. When in a lobby, if a party member leaves your lobby for any reason, all party members will be marked as not ready. This should stop accidental launches to the match when your buddy dipped out for a second. Oh, cool. Well, eh, I guess. A fable mark as all seen button will be added to remove pesky, I mean helpful, red dots. Ah, <laughs> in your face, Dexter, you son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, shit. They were listening. To I'm telling you. They were listening to us. Respawn is monitoring my shit. They know I'm too good. And they, they heard Dexter complaining. And they're like, oh, yeah. This little bitch right here. <laughs> oh, shit. And they even said, oh, what the? They said it. Pesky. I mean, helpful. Ah. <laughs> That's funny. We now show you more. Many treasure packs are needed to acquire the next common place. This should make it easier to people who are chasing a new bit of lore. To know how far they are. Oh, what the hell? Caustic should now smash the doors with his heirloom hammer instead of his leg, if available. Hmm. We added a small bit of information to find friends box describe describe a situation where your friend might not be able be findable because of their EA account settings. The fuck. Oh, look at that! Fixed an issue with Bloodhound's UI disappearing after interacting with or Horizons. Tactical, what the hell? Wraith fixed an issue with Wraith portal getting destroyed by the Trident. The hell? That never happened. Well, at least not to me. Fixed an issue with Bangalore's passing through the hatch doors. They are close to World's Edge. What the fuck? What are all these bugs? I've never heard of these bugs. Oh, look at that. Mirage fixed an issue with Mirage's decoys not making footsteps. They're holograms. They shouldn't make footsteps anyways. That's the load of butt. 
Fix an issue with hack consuming two vault keys. If two keys were in crypto's inventory, what the hell? Fix an issue with hack getting stuck with the trident when deployed as a passenger and the trident is on the ramp. Revenant. Fix an issue causing other players to teleport with Revenant if they punch Revenant while they have very little health. What the fuck? Fix an issue that didn't allow Revenant to deploy Death Total Mob on the Trident. The hell? Loba. Fixed a lot of windows and World's Edge that prevented Loba's bracelet from passing through. Yeah, huh? That's kind of stupid that it couldn't. Fix an issue that all Rampart to place Sheila while in Phase Runner. What the hell? Fix an issue where the UI element stayed on the screen after Sheila. Horizon. Fixed an issue where Horizon's ability is not affecting Lifeline's dock or crypto's drone. Huh. Okay, that's cool. Ooh, so, yeah. I added a little extra to this video. Hope you stuck around for it, even though I was talking a lot of smack. But, yeah, I'm pretty excited for it. Sounds fun. Especially that boxing one. But, yeah, I wanted to come back here and go back to the website. And it, I just find it funny that... Dex said that there should be an all reads button or some bullshit. <laughs> He's gonna be pretty happy about it. Well, yeah. Well, thanks for sticking around if you stick to this long ass video. I'm gonna try to shorten it as best I can. Well, see you guys later.